Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. A little bit of hard point for you guys. Still trying to figure out these fucking score streaks. Let me tell you what. I'm running Lightning Strike, uh, VSAT, and Warthog. <sighs> I try to switch it up. Try to use the fucking load start. I called in two. I called in two the other day and got four fucking kills on the same map. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Whatever. But since I haven't prestiged, I don't have any tokens. I'm not going to fucking prestige, so I'm not going to get any fucking tokens. So I guess I'm going to have to work with what I got. No, I'm not fucking prestiging. That shit's fucking overrated. Anyways, um, a little bit of hard point for you guys. I am running solo, of course. Nine times out of ten, I usually run solo. I'm one of those people that when I get into the mood, like, it has to be fucking quiet. <laughs> that probably sounded really bad. But when I get into the zone, like, it's got to be fucking quiet. I can't handle all this fucking shit going on around me. I get on here to chill and just relax and do my thing. I don't want to hear a bunch of fucking bullshit. You know, I can't handle all this fucking, I don't know. So that's why a lot of the times I do play by myself. Um, a lot of times though, I do play like with one or two people. Like I'm cool like that, but a full fucking party, everybody's talking and I just, I get fucking flustered. I have no clue what's going on. I feel like I can't concentrate. So whatever. Anyways, but like I said, I'm running solo course with a bunch of fucktards on my team but i think i go 53 and 5 um something along those lines so yeah the last week or so i've been seeing a lot of individuals talking about partnerships whether they're partnered whether they're not partnered who they're partnered with what are their rewards should they get partnered etc now i wanted to tell you about my experiences my history because sometimes it isn't all what it's cracked up to be if you know or don't know, back in November, I applied for a partnership. They denied me because of copyright. Just because the music is non-copyrighted still doesn't mean that you have permission to use it. So like I said, true godly fashion, pissed off, deleted everything, and started pretty much over from scratch. So at this point, I applied for a partnership. I was approved. I think maybe at that point, I might have had 100 subs. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And I jumped the gun. I clearly jumped the fucking gun. I was so excited, and especially when they said yes, oh, baby Jesus, it was just great, you know? But little did I know at that point, like, I wasn't really receiving anything. Now, it kind of depends on who you're partnered with, but I know for me, like, I don't get any kind of special treatment. I don't get anything different from anybody else who isn't partnered. My whole idea going into this was, you know, having some kind of partnership, having some kind of support, you know, someone that would help me get my name out there. Someone, you know, just kind of a, a group of people that would watch each other's videos and, you know, what have you. I have yet to receive any kind of support, you know. Another thing was the audio library. Now, this, like I'm saying, this is strictly for me and the company that I'm with. Now, I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not complaining. I'm saying clearly that this is my history and everything isn't always as great as it seems. The audio library. I was ecstatic about this because I did a lot of montages, a lot of OCEs. I use a lot of, mu uh, a lot of music in my content. So I thought, okay, all right. Let me look at this, you know, and there's like thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of songs in their library. I was pretty excited about that. As time went on, though, I started uploading it. It kept matching third party content. Okay, but I thought I was, you know, I thought it was royalty free. I thought I had permission to use it. I'm not kind of clear. Whatever. Moving on. I thought about the support. I thought, well, what the hell? You know, I was excited about their fucking other channel, like an arcade channel where they would upload your content, give you a little bit of exposure, get your name out there. Well, apparently my content doesn't fit their criteria. Now, I don't really think that it's gameplay. I don't know. I'm really thinking along the lines that it's my language. But if you know me, I could give two fucks. I am not going to censor myself. I'm not going to change. You know, so let's just cut our losses at that point because apparently I'm never going to make it to their channel. So at this point I have custom thumbnails, live stream. What else do I have? Um, nothing. 
If you don't know, recently YouTube changed it to where if you have at least 100 subs, you can live stream. And now everybody has custom thumbnails. So, the fuck? What the fuck is the difference? Now I'm stuck in a fucking contract. That's pretty much the only difference. I'm stuck in a contract. They will not let me out. What the hell? I even asked them like, hey, I don't really feel like you're sticking up to your end of the agreement, your end of the bargain. Like, I would like to get out. Like, I'm just not happy. During this whole time, I've had other opportunities to come to other companies, this, that, and the other. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll see if they'll let me out of my contract, and hopefully I can, you know, take some of these new opportunities, take them up on their offer. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> they don't give a shit. Once you sign that contract, baby, you in. Let's just say no. There ain't no leaving. Yeah. I told them, you know, look, I'm really not happy. I don't feel like you've lived up to your end of the agreement. I just want out. Let's just, you know, cut our cut our losses and fucking move on. Nope. And they were like, well, what's your problem? And I'm like, well, with the audio, it matches third party content. There's no fucking point in me using it. Second of all, I'm not getting any kind of support. What have you. There's no kind of networking partnership. Like what the fuck? There ain't no partnership. Only thing I'm really receiving is money. And I'm not even receiving enough to fucking even be partnered with. I mean, I'm honest. <sighs> It's so fucking irritating. So anyways, as far as the support, they're like, well, you know what? Every time you upload a video, make sure and include us in, you know, either in the title or link it to us, tweet it to us, what have you. And we will make sure to give you some kind of support. We'll network um, this, that, and the other. Bitch can't even get a retweet. I'm serious. So the moral of this is I'm just saying before you jump in, balls to the wall, feet first, make sure you do your homework because that's something that I didn't. I was so excited that somebody said yes <laughs> that I just fucking, I jumped in. I jumped in. You know, I read the contract, of course, because I've been in one of those situations before, long story, but I've been in a situation like that where a fucking contract has come back and bite me in the ass and I'm still regretting it. But I read the contract, and everything seemed legit, seemed on the up and up. Yeah, I'm not receiving any kind of support, no kind of networking. I mean, there's absolutely nothing. They keep talking about all these fucking benefits and da-da-da. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing nothing. Um, I could probably say or count the number of people that I know on one hand that are in this company. Other than that, I don't see anybody. I don't ever meet anybody. I don't know anybody. They won't, um, they don't like my, you know, my content. It doesn't, you know, fit their criteria. They don't give me any kind of support, what have you. So that's what I'm saying. Before you jump in, balls to the wall, slow the fuck down, chill the fuck out, do your homework. That's the best advice I can give you. If you were hell bent on, you know, doing it, Make sure that you go with the one who can offer you something. Now, I'm not saying that all companies are the same. I'm not saying that partnerships are bad. I'm saying that for me, it's been a shitty fucking experience. The whole experience has been shitty. Everything was wonderful. Everybody was so friendly in the beginning. And then once they have you, once they pop my cherry, it was game over. Seriously. They didn't want to have shit to do with me after that. Once they got me to sign that fucking contract, it was game over. Nobody wants to have anything to do with me. Nobody will help me. Nobody support me. Um, the support, like, if I need any kind of help, like, it just sucks. Like, everything fucking sucks about being partnered with who I'm partnered with. Now, like I said, I'm not trying to call anybody out or this, that, and the other, or, you know, bad mouth anybody. But I'm just saying, as for me, my experience has sucked. Like I said, make sure and do your homework and don't just, you know, go with a specific company just because you've heard good things. Make sure and check out because that's what I did. I'm with a reputable company, but it just, it didn't work out the way everybody else says it works out, you know? Now, like I said, some of the other companies, they have great benefits. They give out games. They do this. They do that. They have a great networking. For me, it just, I haven't seen anything. Um, now, I've already informed them come November. 
<laughs> I am not fucking, no. I'm not renewing my contract. I don't want to have anything to do with them. So at that point, I may or may not, you know, apply for a partnership with somebody else. Um, I just, this has really left a bad taste in my mouth. I just don't want to have anything to do with any of this shit. So... I don't know. Like I said, I may or may not, you know, apply somewhere else. It won't be with these motherfuckers. Guarantee you that, you know. So, but like I said, the moral of this story is make sure and do your homework. Make sure you talk with people. That's one of the things that I specifically did not do. You know, make sure you talk to people. You can get a great, a great assessment of a company based on how they treat people, you know, and that's my number one thing. How do you treat your customers? How do you treat your members, the individuals that fucking put you where you are if they don't like it or they have issues apparently you know but like i said just make sure and do your fucking homework and don't just jump at the first opportunity that you get just like what i did you know what i'm talking about anyways like i said do your homework that's what i got for you guys till next time peace out